In the summer of 1971, three brave cosmonauts embarked on a historic mission to the Salyut 1 space station. Little did they know, their journey would end in tragedy, marking a sombre chapter in the history of space exploration. Salyut 1 was launched by the Soviet Union on April 19, 1971. It was the world's first space station and marked the beginning of their long duration human spaceflight program. Days later, the crew of Soyuz 10 tried to hard dock to the station. The attempt was unsuccessful. This caused them to abort the mission altogether and return to Earth. Soyuz 11 launched on the morning of 6th of June 1971 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan with the agenda to achieve what the crew of Soyuz 10 failed to do. The crew consisted of Commander Georgi Dobrovolsky, Flight Engineer Vladislav Volkov and Research Engineer Viktor Patsayev. This was the second flight of Volkov, who also flew on Soyuz 7 two years before. For Drobovolsky and Patsayev, this would be their first and only flight. The launch went smoothly and the crew continued their journey to the Salyut space station. When Soyuz 11 was 6 to 7 kilometers from Salyut, automatic devices took over and in 24 minutes closed the gap between the two ships to 9 meters and reduced the relative speed difference to 0.2 meters per second. Docking took 3 hours and 19 minutes to complete and involved making the connection mechanically rigid, engaging various electrical and hydraulic links and establishing airtight seals before locks could be opened. When the pressure was equalized between the ships, the locks were opened and all three members of the crew passed into Salyut 1. Soyuz 11 successfully docked with Salyut 1 on June 7, 1971, a day after launch. The crew stayed in the station for over 22 days, setting up an endurance record. They would conduct several scientific experiments, encounter numerous problems, including a fire on board the station, and communicate with Earth using a television. If you want to know more about the life of the crew on board Salyut 1, 
I recommend that you visit the chronology made by the Encyclopedia Astronautica, which is available on the link in the description below. When the crew has completed all scientific and technical experiments aboard Salyut 1, they turned off all station equipment not required for autonomous flight, prepared the Soyuz for landing, and measured the water and consumable reserves available for the next crew. The Soyuz 11 crew undocked from the Salyut 1 space station on the 29th of June at 9.28pm Moscow time. As the crew flew away from the station, Patsayev took photographs of the station for the last time. Four hours after undocking, at 1.35am, the Soyuz spacecraft initiated its retro-fire burn in order to deorbit and land on Earth. During the burn, Volkov said to the ground crew the following. This was one of the last words that were said by the crew of Soyuz 11. No one would ever expect what would happen 12 minutes later. On 1.47 a.m., after the retrofire burn, the descent module was separated from the orbital and service module. But during the separation, a breathing ventilation valve, located between the orbital module and the descent module, has been jolted open, causing the descent module to lose pressure. Patsayev tried to close the valve unsuccessfully, and the crew of Soyuz 11, Georgi Dobrovolsky, Vladislav Volkov, and Viktor Patsayev died less than a minute later. The spacecraft would land in Kazakhstan on 2.16 in the morning, ending the 23-day, 18-hour, 21-minute, 43-second mission. Once the recovery crew had opened the capsule, they found the men dead in their seats. In a desperate move, they tried to perform CPR on the cosmonauts, but to no avail. So many kinds of failures were simulated during Soyuz training, but not the failure that killed the Soyuz 11 crew. Yet the deaths were preventable. Cosmonauts had been writing letters for eight years on the necessity of wearing suits aboard the spacecraft, but they were simply ignored. The loss of Soyuz 11 serves as a poignant reminder of the risks and sacrifices inherent in humanity's quest to explore the cosmos. But their legacy lives on, inspiring future generations to reach for the stars and ensuring that their sacrifice was not in vain. Thank you for watching my documentary. Help me grow my channel by liking the video and subscribing to my channel. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time.